Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning and I am off to catch the train from Florence to Milan. I'm running a little late, so I'm gonna head out, but I'm so excited. There's a lot of cool stuff that I have lined up from the cathedral to like the design museum and some vintage stores and things like that. So I can't wait to see you there, um, but let's catch this train. Milan has, surprisingly, a lot of these green spaces. Um, but now we're heading to uh, the second cafe of the day to get some pastries. Hi everyone, 
Um, it's a bit later after my Milan solo trip um, and I just kind of wanted to share some of my thoughts on um, being alone and spending time alone um, this semester and also this year, just sort of things I've learned or things I've felt sort of as a conclusion to this vlog, um, which was one of the most special just times I think of the semester, getting to spend an entire day um, traveling alone. And I know it's very normal for people to travel for much longer alone as well. And hopefully my, my goal is to one day build up to that um, and take a trip where I can sleep overnight and things like that. But for now, I was really happy with my trip to Milan um, and getting to spend some quality time with myself and even just reflect over the semester. I honestly feel like this year studying abroad, uh, I spent so, so much time um, alone or figuring things out alone, whether that be uh, just trying to deal with new places, new transit, um, new languages, um, or just, you know, completely being dropped in a new place without knowing anyone else beforehand. And so having to sort of deal with things alone before you start to eventually make friends or um, settle in. I think it was a year that sort of really proved to me that it is very true when people say that at the end of the day, like, all you have is yourself um, and you have to sort of choose to be your own best friend and your own best, you know, fan and supporter. That's not to say I wasn't lonely. I think because I tend to not vlog when I'm feeling down, um, it's hard to see some of my loneliest moments over the year, um, my two semesters abroad. Um, but there were definitely times where I felt like I was truly in the middle of nowhere. Not actually, but like just in terms of my social life um, and people I knew because I was in such a new place. Um, and especially in pla a place like Paris, I was not able to communicate with everyone um, in English, like my most comfortable language. Yeah, I think I was very familiar with the actual sensation of being alone, but also loneliness. I think aside from also learning that um, we are dependent on other people and that is really natural and that is actually one of the biggest joys in life is finding people and connecting with them and without that there's really no point in trying to develop a sense of independence or anything else like it really is like these two things have to work together you have to build a relationship with yourself and um, your sense of independence while also cultivating relationships and i think it just takes a lot of time um, and practice and i'm still learning that as well but if I learned that yes I do need people in my life um, and at some po moments of the semester like some points I really felt like there were less people than I, I really wanted in my life around me um, who I knew really well. Besides all of that um, being spending so much time alone taught me also how to enjoy being alone that the, I feel like the quicker we accept that it's just such a natural part of being alive um, is to spend time with ourselves, uh, the better we can use that time and also grow from that time and treat ourselves. So I think the biggest thing from this year is that I'm just so much less scared to be alone, whether that be um, actually dealing with a problem, um, like outside traveling, whatever, or literally just feeling like I am, you know, alone in my room or whatever. I think that before those sensations themselves were a little anxiety inducing or scary. And now I just feel very comfortable. And I think that has been really amazing. I think I've gotten to know what I like and what I don't like um, really well. And just having time to reflect on those things, um, whether that be hobbies or um, the way I want to go about my day or the way I study or the way I socialize or um, how much socialization I want. And and things like that is just sort of like I would never really question these things for most of my life and then just because I have so much time and I'm suddenly thrown in a completely new environment with only myself I felt like I was able to really reflect on what meshes well with me um, and what I want to keep in my life if that makes sense how through that time and reflection we can learn to be sort of like the people who know the most about ourselves instead of relying on other people to tell us things um, and maybe having misunderstandings or um, having entirely wonderful things that you didn't even know you liked and um, just sort of opening up different possibilities for yourself as a person. Uh, I feel like that has been the best thing about all this time alone. On the flip side, I um, have built some of the most amazing friendships this year um, and have had times where I felt very, very full um, just from people and uh, I think the relationships I've made this year will 
remain very special in my life. Um, and I hope I'll talk about them soon in the next coming vlogs, but, um, and talk about just maybe the, you know, ideas of friendship in general. Um, but for today, those are my thoughts on um, being with yourself. I hope that you guys got something out of this video, whether it be just a really nice calming day in the lawn or um, just even some thoughts that encourage you to spend some more time with yourself, um, maybe take yourself for a little trip um, or even just asking yourself, what is it that I like? What is it that I don't like? And how can I sort of better provide for myself in those ways? Um, whatever it may be. And um, other than that, I'll see you in the next vlog, uh, which is an Edinburgh travel one. And yeah, thank you so much for watching.